when I attended the AMAs, I was working as a freelance journalist in the UK, and I'm actually now on a reporting assignment in Sri Lanka. And what I remember most about the AMAs is the energy in the room. It was just so incredible to be able to celebrate so much Asian media achievement within the same room in so many different spheres, whether that's radio, that's print, that's TV, that's broadcast. And it was just so nourishing as an experience. And I think to anyone else trying to forge a similar career, I'd say always remember that your voice and what you have to say is important, even though a lot of the time you will be made to feel like it's not. And it's, especially if you're a journalist and uh, a, a, an Asian journalist or a journalist of color, you might feel like you keep being knocked down when you're trying to tell these stories that are really important to you and really important to your community. But I think it's just important to remember that somewhere out there, there is someone looking for the content that you're producing and the, the voice that you have. And I think that's what I love most about my job as well. The fact that it's this creativity that's also rooted in the real world and we get to tell these real stories but we get to choose how we do it and we get to choose the most creative and exciting and authentic way of doing that um, and I think that's also why it's so important for us to have diverse voices in journalism because that's what makes journalism exciting that's what makes journalism an industry that's always changing and I think I'm so excited to see that change filter through to the top because it it still hasn't quite got there yet. Uh, but that's why we're here and that's why we're changing the industry. Yeah.